Tops and Bottoms, adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens. Once upon a time, there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear, and he had given all of his wealth to his son. But all bear wanted to do was sleep. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to bear to pay off the debt. Her and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, father her. We must think of something, Mrs. Harry cried one day. So her and Mrs. Her put their heads together and cooked up a plum. The next day, her hopped down the road to Bear's house. Bear, of course, was asleep. Hello, Bear, wake up! It's your neighbor, Her, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. We can be business partner, Herd said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear. We are in this together. I work and you sleep. Huh? said Bear. So what will it be, Bear? asked her. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you. Tops or bottoms? Uh, let's see. Bear said with a yawn. I'll take the top half, her right. Tops, her smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep and her and his family went to work. Her planted, Mrs. Her watered, and everyone weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Her called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the tops and I get the bottoms. Her and his family dug up the carrots, the radish, and the beets. Her plunked off all the tops, tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself. Bear stared at his pile, but, but Her, all the best parts are in your half. You choose the tops, Bear, Her said. Now, Herr, you betrick me. You plant this field again, and in this season I want the bottoms. Herr agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. So Bear went back to sleep, and Herr and his family went work. They planted, watered, and weeded. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Herr called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the bottoms and I get the tops. Herr and his family gathered up the lettuce, the broccoli, and the celery. Herr pulled off the bottoms for Bear and put the tops on his own pile. Bear looked at his pile and scolded, Herr, you have cheated me again. But Bear, Herr said, you want the bottoms this time. Bear grunted. You plant this field again, Herr. You've tricked me twice, and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sang Herr. It's only fair that you get both tops and bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. So... 
Bear went back to sleep, and her and his family went to work. They planted the water and weeded, then watered and weeded some more. Bear slept as the crops grew. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and the bottoms! There, in front of Bear's house, lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Her tugged off the roots of the bottoms and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See, bear, you get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middles. Yes, sir, Bear. It's a done deal. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, her, he hollered. From now on, I will plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Her and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Her bought back his land with the profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Her opened a vegetable stand. And although Her and Bear learned to live happily as a neighbors, they never become business partners again.